So when you're thinking about the forms that you're going to use, usually, usually QuickBooks will kind of be pick the right form. But remember that depending on what you're looking at, if you're looking at the the the, the checking account that you're putting the money into, your first thought might be, well, I should use a deposit form. Uh, or but that'll look funny on the other side. Or you're going to say, I, if I'm looking at it from the from the account that I'm transferring from, you might use an expense form. But the, the form that you that will solve kind of the sorting problem is the transfer form, which hopefully the bank feeds will pick up automatically by by just seeing what's what's happening. And all three will record the same thing. So if you're recording using the other ones, don't it's not the end of the world because the accounts affected will be the same transaction in terms of journal entry will be the same. But the sorting, as you can see, gets a little messed up because you can you can you can't sort by the forms that you would expect to be sorting from so again with paypal i would expect that when i'm sorting the detail in the checking account then i would kind of like to have everything that's an increase be a deposit and a transfer or a transfer because every every other account i have these paypal accounts are there primarily to collect revenue that are going to transfer into the checking account and then and then on the paypal side of things i would expect that all of the transfers would be decreases basically because for the same reason because all because you could money you could transfer money from the checking account to paypal to pay out expenses and if you're paying contractors and stuff then you might do that but if you're using paypal as a source of of collecting revenue from the platforms you would think it would always be going the other way and it's kind of nice just to kind of sort your checking account data because remember the checking account being the the flow the, the lifeblood of the company meaning it's involved in every cycle that you're dealing with means that it's going to have a lot of different transactions in it and be very important to kind of verify and and check and reconcile with the bank account with the you know do your bank recs whereas every other account has very limited transactions that are involved in in them because the 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 use of these other accounts are, are much more specific the accounts receivable is going to go up with an with an invoice and uh, and down with a payment that's just the way it is right whereas the cash accounts got all these other stuff going on so you got to have more detail in order to sort it